hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to be showing you how i use the dyson air wrap to curl my hair so let me go ahead and show you what's inside all that okay so let's get started so i just got out of the shower my hair is wet like it's just completely wet um i use the old plex system uh, I'm going to go into hair care later, but um, what's in my hair right now is just the number six leave-in. Um, before I use the air wrap, I'm going to put in Olaplex number seven oil. This has a heat protectant in it, which is going to be good because I'm just dabbing it on my hand like that. Rubbing it. getting it everywhere just rubbing it through your hair making sure okay so that is the Olaplex number seven like I said so now I need to get out the air wrap and plug it in so. So this is just the actual air wrap without an attachment on it. And to start off, you're gonna use this, which is just the blow dryer. Now when you use this, it's it's supposed to be just like a rough dry. So just clip this on, you know, like it's got a lock back here, all that. So what I'm gonna do is use the highest fan setting, the highest heat setting, and I'm just gonna literally rough dry my hair um i'm going to do like upside down like flip my head over like this and do upside down whatever but before i do that i want to add a little bit of the living proof dry volume blast this is supposed to help with volume and texture so i'm going to take my hair like this spray it and then blow dry it Okay, so now my hair is about 80% dry, which is what you want to do with the rough dry tool. So I'm going to the full thickening mousse from Living Proof. Um, I'm going to shake it up. And then I'm just going to apply it all over my hair. I usually do this on my dry hair before I curl it with like a curling iron. So about that much. Um, you can always add more. So I'm just going to do that real quick Okay, so what that thickening mousse is gonna do is it's just gonna help volume and hold. Well, give me volume and hold. Um, so yeah, now I'm getting all my tips and tricks from the, it's like a video of a Dyson um, representative and he's telling people how to use it to curl your hair. Now he says go in with the smoothing brush first and make your hair more manageable, which I'm not gonna lie, I completely forgot about, so. I'm gonna take this off and put on the smoothing brush and I'll be right back. Okay, so I put on the smoothing brush. Um, this is also the smoothing brush. This one's just bigger, so I'm gonna use this one. Um, I'm gonna link his video below, but what he does is he says, you literally just go like this. So before I go in with that brush, I'm just gonna use my wet brush. Um, this is from the wet brush brand. I'm brushing everything out to make sure there's no tangles or knots. Um, the wet brush is really good because it's flexible bristles, so it doesn't like pull or tug your hair because your hair is very weak whenever it's wet. So I want to be careful with that. Um, I also use a wet brush whenever it's dry just because I want to be gentle to my hair because I want it to grow. So I want to keep it strong and that's what I'm working on. 
brushing all that out. Okay. Now that that's done, I'm going to go in with this. I'm going to put it on the highest fan, high seat, and I'm literally just going to do like that. I'm not going to start sectioning my hair yet because this is just another like rough dry kind of thing. All right, so now I'm going to take this off. Um, again, your hair doesn't, it shouldn't be 100% dry, just between 80 to 90%. Really, it's supposed to be 70 to 80, but I mean, it's probably around there. And then I'm going to take the barrel, clip it on, and first I'm just going to section my hair. Okay, so I sectioned my hair, um, and I rewatched the Dyson Man's video to make sure that I was going to do it correctly. The difference between these two barrels is the way that you curl your hair. So I tried it one time with this one, and I realized I was using the wrong barrel, and it was going to curl my hair towards my face. So I stopped, and then I'm going to switch out the barrel because that's just not the type of curl that I want. So make sure that's secure. What is, you want to take about one inch sections. And what you're going to do is you're going to hold your hair kind of out here. Let the ends get on there. You're kind of going to wobble it a little bit. And then once those are attached, you just go up like this and you hold it. You're not twisting. You're just holding it. So that's a little bit curled from when I tried the other one. So let's see if I can figure this out. Okay, so those are on there, and then I'm going to go up, Okay, so what I just did was I held the curl in there with the hot, the hot setting until it dried. And then I counted for 10 Mississippis and I did this over here. I gave it a cold shot and I did it for a little bit over 10 Mississippis, but that's okay. And so now I'm just gonna hold the end right here. Okay. Hmm. All right, so I'm just gonna keep doing the same thing and see if it gets any better, see if I figure anything else out. Okay, so I wanted to stop right there and tell you that I did figure a couple things out. Number one, um, these barrels, I said one goes away from your face, one goes into your face. Yes, but I forgot like this one is going to be for this side to go away from your face on this side. This one is to go away from your face on that side. Another thing that I like figured out, this is like super voluminous, super thick. Like I know you can't feel it, but it feels really good. Um, make sure, make sure, make sure you let your ends attach like for a while, honestly, like so I was kind of not letting them attach long enough, keep them on there and then slowly go up, especially if you have longer hair. Those are the two mistakes that I made on this side that I figured out with this one. So I'm gonna keep doing the technique that I did with this one and come back. Okay, so I finished that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to do my makeup for another video. Um, and then when I come back, I will do these pieces. Um, while I do my makeup, that gives us time to let the curls cool before I put any other product and stuff in them. I mean, really, I could put hairspray. I'll go ahead and do that. Um, 
So I have the Kenra Volume Spray Super Hold 25. Um, I got a mini just to make sure that I like it. Just spraying it all over. Oh, it's girl. Okay, so I'm gonna go in the back. Making sure I really spray it. Okay, so it's sprayed. Um, it'll give it time for them to really just set in place before I brush them out. So I'm gonna go do my makeup and then when I come back, we'll do this. Okay, so I just finished my makeup and I'm back to do this. I can already tell that my curls have fallen a pretty decent amount, but you know what? I'm not gonna judge it until the end whenever I get the final look. So I'm gonna brush those out with my wet brush. If you wanna see how I did this makeup look, um, my thoughts on the products, oh, and how it looks in natural lighting, I will link the video or have it pop up. Uh, I don't even know if I can have it pop up because I don't even know how to edit really, but we will see. So I'm gonna go and put my, put my curling barrel in there. I don't even know which one I'm gonna use, like which way to make it face, like which way to face it. I think I'm gonna do the one, yeah, I think this one will be fine. So, let's see how it goes. Yeah, that clip kind of made it a little messy. Let's see, what is not my bangs? Okay, this is not bangs. You know what? I should probably part it. This looks insane. Okay. So, hmm. Okay. Well, that looks rough, but we're gonna fix it. So, let's go ahead and do that. And then this is bangs. Over here. My hair really isn't fried anymore. I don't know why it's doing that. It used to be. It used to be really fried. So now it's not. Where's my other barrel? Maverick. Ooh. So, had a little bit of trouble there. Um, don't really want to talk about it, but figured it out, okay? I was just, whatever. So, I think this is the right barrel, because I wanted to do like this. So, let's see. Okay, yeah, that's the right one. I turned it down, but now I'm going to turn it back up. Get all that out.
Oh, wow. Okay, that looks crazy. But then, I'm supposed to flip it out. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like that barrel, so. Well, it's not that I don't like that barrel, but I don't like it curled under like that. So let's see if we can. Nope. Other one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. This is more of my style. I mean, the volume is definitely there. And it swept it out really nice. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum. It um, smooths out your hair that much. A little bit does go a long way. like these two pieces so So it looks really nice. Um, the curls did fall. Would I say that these are like the curls that I normally consider like curling my hair? No, the volume is there. Like I have very thin hair. And even when I do use those products that I used earlier with a regular curling iron, I've never gotten this much volume. Um, I like it. I feel like it's more of a blowout to me though, but that's just my opinion. Um, I'd be interested to see how they wore through the day. I'm not gonna go and do anything today besides just like study a little bit, do a little bit of homework. But also the weather is not very good today. Um, I wanted to show you in the other video how my makeup looks um, outside, like in the natural daylight, but it's dark outside. Like it's just gloomy. So um, I definitely do like the volume and stuff, so. I would recommend it. I think that also it was my first time doing it. So I think that I'm going to need like some practice with it. Um, so yeah. Okay. So yeah, make sure you really get the ends, but overall I think it looks really nice. So thank you guys for watching.